Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to look at part uh, four, part four of our environment design. Uh, so, if you haven't already, please take a look at three before you get to this one. We have just added our custom shapes, and now it's time to add some more visual depth and more layers of depth in here. So. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, there's a lot of layers that have been created in between the frame and the background layer. So I'm just going to take the top one of the bunch here and Command E, Command E, Command E all the way down so that I'm merging it into one layer. When you have too many layers, it can be very debilitating and be hard to work. So I just merge it down. So then I have that. Um, I'm just going to fix this little spot here. I feel like this looks a little awkward. I'm going to just paint this as black. Just make sure my opacity is at 100% and a hard round brush. And I'm just going to fix this. I feel like that could do that. Look better. Okay. Now, um, how do we add some more depth? Well, in here, I'm going to just zoom in one for you guys. This region here needs some more uh, punch. So I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to create kind of a horizon line. Just going to draw in a horizon line just like this is what they do. Um, and just like this. Kind of go up and down with it. Make it interesting. And then I'm going to swing all the way down and around like that. And I'm going to get a burn tool. So the burn tool is right over here. The burn tool makes things darker. And with with this whole environment design, you know, as things get darker, they move forward, right? That's how we've been working this. Our lightest shade, our middle tone, our, semi, our darker tone, and then here's a black. You can see that's the way we're working. So I'm going to do the same here. The burn tool makes things darker. I have a selection. I'm on the painting layer here. I like seeing this tool work without the marching ants. So I'm going to Command H, and that hides the selection. And now you can see when I paint with this Burn tool, you can see how uh, I'm bringing forward a new horizon line. I'm going to do this again. So remember, Command H, I still have the selection. I'm going to Command D and deselect it, and I'm going to make a brand new horizon line. Just like this, swing down and around. And again, I'm going to get the Burn tool, Command-H, to hide that. And I'm just grazing along the top of it, and it's staying in that area. Okay, good. Maybe I'll just do one more. I feel like just, just one more right here. I really shake it up. Right, swing down and around. My Burn tool, Command-H, to hide it. <clears throat> and there. So if you notice my exposure, I didn't mention this, but the exposure defaults at 50%. I brought it down to about 15. Now another thing you can do <clears throat> is um, what if you don't like creating your own horizon line? We could make one that's very familiar. So what I'll do, I'm going to bring in a brand new shape over here and drop it. And what if you want to make it look like this? is coming forward. Like, what if we want more depth of um, city in here instead of just mountain? I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to find the layer that that's on, and it's right here, layer 1. You can see the shape. And if I hold down Command or Control and click inside of the little window on the layer, it will select what's on that layer. Now I'm going to trash that layer and be left with just the selection. How do we move a selection around? You can select any of the selection tools. I'm going to select the rectangular selection and just move my mouse inside of it and it becomes a cursor that I can move it around. So I'm going to find the spot I like <clears throat> and I'm going to place it right here and do the same thing. Command H, I will get my burn tool nice and large and I'm going to graze over, and you can see I'm kind of, I have, instead of creating my own line, I'm using the contour of the custom shape that I built. 
So I'm going to do this again. Let's Command H. I'm going to move this selection someplace else. How do we scale a selection? Well, you go to Select Transform Selection and it puts a bounding box around it. I'm going to scale this down smaller and maybe I'll put it right here. Okay, and Command H to hide it and I will burn that in too. Great, so it kind of looks like it's coming out of the fog here. I'm going to just do one more maybe right around here. Command H, burn, and you can see that happened. Alright, so I'm going to zoom out take a look. Next, it would be good to place something inside of this scene that is recognizable by the eye. So we're going to put a person in. I'm going to just um, maybe just create a new kind of flatter surface here for this person to stand on. Okay, good. And I'm just going to eye drop this color and paint that in. All right, now just fix that edge. Brush that in. Okay, so to find a person, I'm just going to. Um, potentially find just a, a hiker online here. Okay, I'm zoom in and I'm going to select him. I'm just going to use the um, automated selection tool here, the object select tool. And sometimes it has some trouble finding this little part here. It's having a lot of trouble today. Let's see, come on. Maybe I'll start over here. I'm going to get him first. Perfect. Okay, and I'm just going to scoop up that other shoe. Excellent. Fix his head here. And that's good. So let's command C. What I'm missing part of his pole here. Holding shift, I can add to a selection. I'm going to command C for copy and paste. All right, he's going to come in here. Now, he could be this large. I'll command you. I'll show you. I'll bring him down to the darkest tone, say OK, and then command you one more time to match him up to that tone. So you could see this would work. He could, I'll say OK to that. He could be this large looking over, or if you make him smaller, sometimes the scene itself will become more epic and bigger. So I do like that better. Uh, the next thing I'll do, I'm just going to merge this down. Command E. I like, again, staying on that one layer. And I'm going to work some... I'm going to look at creating some light and shadow on this rock here. Um, I'm going to take the selection tool and I'm just going to kind of run down, and kind of shake it up a bit, just like this this uh, lasso tool, just to make to simulate kind of a, the rock. And I'm going to make a selection like this. And what we'll do, I will burn this side. So I'm going to make this darker. You can Command H to see that happening. And then I'm going to do the same thing with kind of the inside parts of this rock here. and I will dodge. Now dodging is the opposite of burning. I'll show you. I'll hide it and you can see I can dodge. I'm going to we'll make it lighter. I'm going to add maybe just a little bit more of the dodging, just a whole different tone here. Maybe I hit it about three times with that. This time I'm going to hit it only maybe two times or just once maybe. Okay, good. And I'll do another one right in the center here, which will make mostly this um, a darker shade. So the burn tool maybe one time down. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing around the bottom here. So I'm going to get my lasso and I do like kind of showing 
some kind of rocks here. Okay, good. Kind of shake it up. And I will burn. All right. Kind of had that selection. I'm going to undo and just redo that selection. Yeah, if something doesn't look right, you should uh, just undo and try it again. <clears throat> Rather than just try to fight it out. Um, so there. It's going to be a little darker. Good. I'm also going to throw in a little, maybe some highlighted areas too. So just holding shift and maybe just some areas here on the rocks will be a little lighter with the dodge tool. I'll command H and I'll watch that happen. Good. Okay. And maybe just some overall. Some bigger selection here with the burning tool. All right. Good. Okay, the next thing we'll do is um, we're going to add a light source. So just making sure everything's still on one layer. If not, just Command E and merge those down. I'm going to get a brush and it's going to be a very large brush. <clears throat> and I'm going to make it an opacity of about 12%. I'm going to also make it with a hardness of zero. So it's going to be a very soft brush. And I'm going to choose white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot where light, where light can squeak through. So right here, you'll notice right here, I'm going to hit it a few times. Watch what happens. I hit it seven times in that area, and you can see kind of light squeaking through. I'm going to also hit it here a few times, and I'll find maybe a little smaller so it just kind of shoots through this way as well. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add just a few more uh, maybe light uh, uh, areas that kind of squeak through here. Maybe just, I like to have one here and there. You can see how that's working. Okay, now that we've done that, it helps to add a little bit more depth of color, uh, or depth of shades of gray. Uh, so, maybe the last thing here, we'll add a little bit of color, and you could, uh, as long as it's on one layer here, I could command U, I can look around, I can um, change my hue. If that doesn't work, check on Colorize, and I could find, you know, a color I like, and you can... You can bring up the saturation on that if you'd like. So let's see. Look at the darkness too, the lightness or darkness of that color. And I'll say all right. Good. And that's about it. So. Um, there are ways of adding images and textures to this, but um, I might as well just show it. I will select all, copy it, I'll paste it in, and paste, right? I'm going to make sure it's um, right here, so I'm going to Command T and I'll swing it around. See, I'm trying to match it up with this rock. And I'm going to blend it. So there's blend modes right over here. And see, uh, screen or lighten work really well. So I've got a screen. And then I'll just take a soft eraser and erase what I don't need. Because it is an image. I'm going to make that soft hardness to zero. And just remove what I'm not what I don't need. Okay, I can also um, just make it a little softer down here or um, just make this whole thing bigger. Okay, and maybe I'll just clone it a little bit over here.
on this rock. Good. Okay. I can um, use a magic wand here. I'll just select this. Select the inverse and erase. Ooh, whoops. On this layer, just erase what I don't need of that image. Empty. You can kind of see how we begin to bring in. I can dodge and burn that. <clears throat> but we're bringing in an image to give it texture. And you can do that all around. All right. Good luck and give it a try.